Nehemiah 9 picks up the story of Israel's return from exile and the rebuilding of Jerusalem. After celebrating the festivals with renewed joy, chapter 9 shows us a powerful picture of their repentance, confession, worship, and renewal of faith. This worship service includes a great testimony of God's faithfulness throughout their history. Read it for yourself. It's a captivating summary of Israel's story from Abraham to this point in history. The priests proclaim this account of God's faithfulness despite their ancestors' continual drift back into sin that took them to dead ends over and over again. This was a great reminder to them of God's grace, compassion, abounding love from a vantage point of thankfulness and repentance. So after reading this very lengthy prayer, what's the application for us? I'll answer that question with a question. Has God delivered you from the hopelessness of sin through the gift of salvation in Jesus Christ? If he has, you have a testimony. You have a story of deliverance specific to you. Just as no two fingerprints are the same, your testimony is an original masterpiece of God's mercy, grace, and power to save in your life. Let today be a reminder to know your story. Write it down, rehearse it, be bold in telling it. Remind yourself of it often. God works powerfully through our stories as others can relate to it. Even if you're brand new to the faith and don't know much about the Bible yet, you know your story. And you know that Jesus has forgiven your sins and given you new life in Christ. That alone is a powerful testimony. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 15 encourages us to worship Christ as Lord of our life. And if someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. Be encouraged today to know your story. Be faithful and disciplined in studying God's word daily so that when those opportunities present themselves, we can give an answer for the hope that lives within us. Share your testimony with others and keep God's word fresh in your mind. God will use it in powerful ways. His word will not return void. And if you commit to it, you'll be a part of his grand story of salvation, one person at a time.